Hey, 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 you guys. How are you guys? I am back with another video. So listen, today's topic is all about how to glow up mentally. And today it's just really, I'm trying to get comfortable in this chair because I'm so short, you guys. But today's topic, I'm going to be talking all about, it's kind of like a girl talk, sit down, chat with you guys on how you can glow up mentally. So y'all know we've been stuck inside of this house for going on probably two months now. Started like early part of March or something. But anyway, for me, it's been a lot of time of for reflection. And how you glow up mentally all determines these seven things that I'm going to share with you today. So listen, before we even get started, make sure you hit that bell. Tap on that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. If you love these types of videos where I motivate you, I do motivational videos, self-care, personal hygiene videos, and entrepreneurship. So if those topics interest you, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you won't miss another episode. So let's jump right into it. So the first way on how you can glow up mentally is you have to take the time to heal from your past. And if you've been following me for some time now, you guys know that I always talk about how you can learn a lot from your past if you just allow yourself to go through the process. A lot of times people want to make you feel bad for taking as long as you do to heal. But here's the thing. There's no expiration. There's no time frame on how long it should take you to heal. Because let's face it, some of us have some really deep issues that we need to heal from or have to heal from. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be a one, two, three, snap your fingers and you're done with it. I wish that was the case. Probably would have been further along in my life by now, but that's not how the case works. When you're healing from your past, you got to take this thing step by step and you got to take it layer by layer because at the end of the day, nobody can tell you how fast you have to go on your journey. Your life is your journey. It's your journey that you alone have to go through. And so if you need to take some time to do that, then by all means, it's only going to be great and beneficial for you because in the long run, you're not going to be able to have healthy relationships. You're not going to be able to have healthy business partners if you don't take the time to deal with your issues. When you neglect your past and you just jump over it like you just ignore it, it's going to always come back to haunt you because you didn't take the necessary steps you need in order to heal properly. See, you have to give yourself permission to say, you know what? That young girl did some crazy stuff, but you know what? I got to forgive that young girl because I only, or she only did what she knew how to do. And when you start to do that, when you start to take time to really assess, like, why did I make that decision? Why did I do what I did? Why did I open my mouth and say that? If you start to have those kinds of conversation with yourself, you'll begin to really heal properly because you're taking a necessary step to get rid of unforgiveness. Because a lot of times it's not so much that we need to forgive other people. We need to forgive ourselves because we have We've let ourselves down by making a not so wise decision. And that's all a part of growth. That's all a part of life. We all have some things in our past that we're not so proud of, that we're not, that if we had it to do all over again, we probably would want to make some wiser choices. And it always gives me um, um, solace or it gives me a little bit motivation to say, you know what, that young girl, didn't know better. She did what she knew how to do. And that you can tell yourself, you know what? I didn't know how to do that then, or I wasn't equipped enough to handle that then. But the woman that I am today, I can choose. Everything is about a choice. You can choose to be a better person today. You can choose, you can decide to make a different decision than you made when you were in your 20s. 
So you beating yourself up and being so hard on yourself is just going to make you bitter. It's going to make you angry. And I'm telling you guys, it. I'm telling you from experience, everything that I share on this channel is from personal experience. When you hover around unforgiveness and you stay mad at people who've hurt you, all of that stuff poisons you. Like you stay stuck in that very moment. You guys, that is how I ended up in the psych ward all those years ago because I stayed stuck on all the pain, on all the hurt, all the things that happened to me in my childhood. Childhood molestation, you know, um, being suicidal, all of that stuff. I kept it bottled up inside of me because I felt if I hold on to the pain, it was making me stronger. Like I can deal with everything, but that's not the case. You will not grow. You will not get to what God want for you if you are bitter, if you are still stuck in your pain. So take it from me, you guys. You got to heal. You got to allow yourself time to heal. You got to release some things. Otherwise, you are going to damage every relationship that comes in your way. Because you know why? You are still holding on to that pain. The next thing in order for you to glow up mentally is you got to be mindful of what you are feeding your mind. What are you watching on a daily basis? Is it a bunch of negativity? Is it a bunch of craziness? That's the reason. That's a lot of reason why I don't watch celebrity um, reality shows or nothing. Not to say it's nothing wrong with that if that's what you choose to entertain yourself with. But for me, I try to stay away from that because knowing how I feel about relationships or anything like that, it would just really damper my hope or what have you thinking about, you know, is this the way every relationship is? And thank God I don't think like that, but I'm just saying I try to watch. And, and then too, I'll, I'll give you a prime example. I love Criminal Minds, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. I even got my kids be watching it with me, but I know that sometimes I have to take a break from it because Watching so much of that gets on the inside of me and I have nightmares. I have, um, it's sometimes if you watch it for so long, it gets you in a mood. Like you be thinking of all the stuff that could go wrong and all the crazy stuff that like you start getting paranoid and stuff. So that's an example of watching what you feed your mind. If that's your addiction like mine's, limit your time of watching it. Don't watch it every day. Watch it every other week or every other day. Don't watch it every day. Because if you like me, I'd be, I'd be like, look, kids, you all need to come in here and sleep with mommy because mommy's seeing some stuff. But that's why I say you need to watch what you take inventory of what you're watching, take inventory of what you're listening to, take inventory of what you're seeing, because your eyes and your ears will believe everything that you say, do, or what have you, if you watch certain things to the T. And then the next one is um, how to glow up mentally is reading inspirational books. I love entrepreneurship books. They intrigue my mind. You know, I'm always like that woman that wants to continue to learn. I get bored real quick, you guys. So if I'm reading the same stuff or I'm watching the same, I get bored. And then too, I get in my moments where I want to go back to my 90s and I'll be watching all my 90s show. But reading inspirational books gives me hope. Reading entrepreneurship helps stimulate my mind, helps me to grow. I love all things entrepreneur. Um, shit because I love taking risks. I love thinking outside the box and being an entrepreneur, it allows me to, to use my creativity a lot. And, and that's what feeds me. So whatever feeds you that is positive, do more of that and you'll start to see how um, your life will start to shift in a different way, mentally, physically, or what have you. When you feed your mind with positivity, you are drawing that into you. Like if your inner peace, I tell people all the time, a lot of people miss it because they're so focused on the outer external. When you should be really worried about the internal, 
sorry about that, when you should be worried about the internal because the internal is what's going to allow you to make choices because your mind tells your body what to do. So if you're doing it from the outside inward, you're doing it wrong. You should work on yourself inwardly and then work on yourself outwardly because once you get that inside right, Everything starts to exude itself. Everything starts to shine from the inside out. And that's how you grow. And then the next one is how you glow up mentally is by reading the word of God. I love, it's just something about when I read the word of God, it gives me a soothing peace. It gives me a peace. Like, you know what? God knows everything I'm experiencing, everything I'm going through. And when I read his word, it's like his confirmation that, I can have this. Like I'm such a, a a workaholic. Like I'm always working on something. Sometimes I get up in the middle of the night if I have an idea. I got to get up and do it right then because I don't want to forget it. Or I'll write it down in my journal so I can come back to it. I always keep journals around me all over my house because I never know when I'm gonna get an a God inspired idea. I'm never I never know when an ideal is gonna come to my head for next book or a next YouTube video. I mean, it's it's amazing how your mind works if you exercise it rightly. And then the next one is, in order for you to glow up mentally, stop gossiping. I mean, it's, it's like some people thrive off of gossip. Like they live to see other people fall. And I'm like, that is so, so, and it's easy to do because you, I'm telling you, I'd be talking to my mom or one of my free, one, yeah, I'd be talking to my mom or something. And before you know it, she's telling me everything that's happening back home. And I'm like, mama, I'm really not interested in what's going on down there. As long as you and daddy, okay, I'm good. Like all that other stuff is relevant to me. I could care less. Not saying that I don't have a heart, but I'm saying a lot of stuff I'm just not interested in entertaining. And so you will find yourself, it's easy to get caught up, whether you're at work, you know, people in the break room talking. And you 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 really have to have to really um guard your heart against that stuff because it's so easy to do it's so easy to get caught up in negativity get caught up in gossiping because it's the latest thing you know people want to hear about what other people are doing and in my mind it's like i could be i'm the total opposite i could care less like i don't have time <laughs> to be thinking about what somebody else is doing you guys my life is full and it's busy on its own i don't need to add any more whatever to the, the no i i love peace and that's how i like to keep it i'm telling you so stay away from gossip you guys and the next way how you can glow up mentally is by getting proper rest i'm telling you guys yesterday it was mother's day so i don't know when you're going to hear this video but it was mother's day and i came home and i took a nap from one o'clock i did not wake up you guys to 7 p.m that night and so guess who couldn't go to sleep? I'm up at 2, 3 in the morning trying to turn the TV off, turn the TV back on, read the word of God, go back to bed. Can't go to sleep. So getting proper rest at least eight hours, because usually, usually my body shuts down at 8.30. So I'm in the bed with the chicken. So I'm an er early go to bedder. I don't even know if that's a word, <laughs> but I go to bed early, but I wake up really early because I like to have that time to myself, just me and God, me and my thoughts. Because I know once the kids get up, you know, get them, you know, ready, doing their work now, right now with this social distances, they're virtual schooling. So, but my schedule has changed a lot since doing all of this because I got to make sure I don't neglect them because I'm telling my kids, tell me I work too much, but I don't neglect them. I make sure I have time for them to do their work and I'm working on it. I'm working on it, having more fun, fun time um, with them. So, cause I'm telling you, my daughter, she will check you. She, she's always saying, mama, you said, you said you, you, you spend time with family, but you are always working. And I be want to say, girl, sit down somewhere. But that that's it. When you say you're going to do something to your kids, you got to keep your word because they will check you. They will call you out on it. And then the, the last and final tip that I'm going to share with you guys on how you can glow up mentally is stay away from people who make you feel like you don't matter. It's one thing to, and, and, and now let me just make a disclaimer. 
I'm not telling you if this is your husband, if he's real negative or it's your parents. I'm not telling you to leave. I'm not telling you to do any of that. That's not what Teresa's is saying. I'm saying the, the, you know, like your friends and stuff like that. If they are always negative, pretty soon you're going to be the next negative person. Because when you hang around negativity so much, it's contagious. Like, just like positivity is contagious. Negativity is contagious. And then too, I will say this. If your spouse is one to be negative sometimes, sometimes just limit the conversation. I'm not saying stop talking to your spouse. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just limit certain conversations you have with him. You know, it. you, you just never know what people may be going through. Maybe at some point he'll open up to you. I don't know that it's not my place to say any of that, but I'm saying as a woman, you have to know your spouse, know your husband. That's not for me or any other woman to say, you know your husband better than anybody. So just, just sit down and have a meaningful conversation. That's how everything starts with a conversation. Sometimes you don't want to have those meaningful, downright conversations that you know you need to have. I'm here to tell you, if you don't have them conversations, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse and get out of hand. So have those conversations, ladies. Don't put it off. You know, I know they always say we talk too much and all of that. But listen, sometimes we do just want to share what's on our hearts. And, and then, too, you get your husband to open up to you more. Now, don't be blasting all those social media and all that stuff. Don't do all that crazy stuff. That's for the 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 silly woman. You're not a silly woman. You are a worthy woman. And you don't do stuff like that. So I hope that this video blessed you in some way. I hope something I said helped you on your journey um, to know that it's an ongoing process. We're all a work in process. Nobody has it all together. We are all on this journey in our own rights. And so um, make sure you leave me a comment below and leave me some topics that you want me to talk about on my next videos. It's all about you guys, and I want to give you guys what you guys want. So leave me some topics that you want me to discuss on this channel, and I'll be glad to um, give you a shout out, especially if I choose your topic. So um, until next time, make sure you um, um, check out my um, ebooks. I am enough. That's a good book that will help you on your journey to rediscovering yourself, and um, also, I have a Be Whole um, 21 Day Devotional. That's another great one, you guys, that will help you on your journey. Make sure you click the link below in the video in the description box. But until next time, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.